Previously on Sailing Ruby Rose, we sailed 800 miles between the Bahamas and beautiful Bermuda. I know that this should sound obvious, but I can't quite believe that we're in Bermuda. Like this is what always gets me, is that you spend like six days on a boat sailing from A to B. And then you end up in a completely different country to where you started out as. I know that that sounds blindingly obvious, but when you actually do it, it really is quite amazing. And you know, most of the time when we travel, it's a matter of getting on a plane and spending, I don't know, two, five, 10, 24 hours on a plane, and then you end up somewhere else. But I think there's something really romantic about doing it by boat. First impressions of Bermuda, very, very positive. It's very colonial. Um, but still kind of has a bit of a kind of Caribbean vibe to it. So yeah, really excited about spending some more time here. I uh, wish we could spend even more time than we have scheduled because uh, we've only got about four days. So we're gonna have to pack a lot into the next four days and then we'll be, we'll be gone again. So Nick, can you um, explain why you look like a bit of a transvestite tonight? All right, number one, we're at sea for a month, so to the grace of your particular benevolence this month, you have bestowed on me the right to grow a moustache while we're at sea. Or, that is not how I remember it. I remember me coming to you stop with shaving. my, um, tugging my forelock, walking backwards with my out, eyes bowed down to the ground, saying, yes. mistress, can I please grow some sort of facial hair? And then you went, ah, uh, yeah, right. But you yeah. shave it off in years old. If I, yeah. yeah, no, I definitely it's gonna get shaved off. However, I think I look rather fetching. Anyway, explain the makeup. So number one, number two, it's pirate night. Yeah. So because we are on dark or the arc or the arc Europe, they have a series of events to mollycoddle us alcoholically yes. through the run up to the departure. And because we got in early, struggling most of day. Anyway, because we got in early, a uh, day early, we just found out it's pirate night tonight. Yeah. So, so this we is thought, your emergency pirate outfit. Which every say that should have. Yeah. Strange what five minutes in a bar can do to you. Brixton. Anyway. It's uh, a rainy morning in Bermuda. Hang on, stop. Oh, okay. Take two. It's a rainy morning in Bermuda. It is. And 
But I don't mind because the forecast is for it to clear up and be sunny for the rest of the time, our time here. And if we get rain, we fill the water tanks. That's right. And I get a wash. <laughs> <laughs> There's no washing this dirty moustache off. This is a beautiful piece of uh, facial artwork, darling. Mm. Yeah, we're going to have breakfast. I'm excited. Yeah. A bit of tropical rain never stopped the breakfast. <laughs> I see it. It's up ahead. Lime green building. All right, Mama Angie's. Okay, that's good. All right, breakfast it is. <laughs> uh, I'll have tea, please. If you've got tea, yeah. Yeah, last tea, please. Thank you. Okay, okay. How are they, babe? Yeah, very satisfying. Very satisfying, yeah. good. So the Shiner Shiner's got a traditional Bermudan fish cake breakfast. Okay. Good? Yeah. I have your, your man that you fry up. <laughs> oh bless you Mary Poppins. So morning one. Breakfast done. I've now got to get on with the list of jobs that need to be sorted out before we head off. Um, the biggest problem we had was that the hydro generator, the little wheel that spins in the water to generate electricity, isn't generating electricity. There's a short circuit somewhere, so I've got to do some electrical work this morning, get on with that, get the um, diesel filled up, top up our diesel. Because we're kind of tied into this raft, we're going to try not to move the boat and we're going to just jerry can it around. So diesel this morning, we've got to get water topped up this morning, we've got to get the boat dried out this morning, it's been raining. It rained hard last night and everything's damp. We've got to get laundry done because there's salt in all our clothes, which means that nothing ever dries. But first things first, let's get the uh, hydro generator looked at. I leave you with the boat in Tad and I come out to find you inside a locker. I'm living here now. I've had enough of the life outside. And this is a state of the cockpit. Yeah, also the reason why you never buy a Brompton. You state these things. Thousand pound bikes and they can look like they've come out of a canal. I know, they look awful. We have a slight problem with our hydro generator. It's uh, producing charge, but not charging the batteries. And there's a flashing light on the regulator, which means that there's an electrical connection problem. So I've taken it all apart. I have rewired everything. I've made sure that every other connection, every electrical connection has been replaced. Continuity tested it across. I've managed to create this unholy mess. Um, but um, I'd rather create the mess now than be pulling out lockers at sea, because if we can have if we can be electronically autonomous, or electrically autonomous, um, past a certain point, it essentially means that our life becomes much, much easier. So once we have enough electricity to run all our systems, everything else then becomes kind of surplus to requirements, but there then becomes luxuries like running the water maker. If we can run the water maker without needing to run the engine, it then means that we have a huge amount of uh, ability to you know shower and wash without running the engine um, we are only carrying 400 litres of diesel which is 200 engine hours to do 2,000 miles which basically is halfway across so we can't we can only we can only motor halfway across should the winds die so it's important that we try and save as much fuel as possible just got a call from the rally control rally control are ready to uh, allow us to take on fuel we use so little fuel on the trip over that we are able to just put, put it into jerry jugs. So we've got 80, 80 litres of fuel to get and thus I have four empty jerry cans. I have yet to work out how I'm going to get four full jerry cans back but there's talk of lending me a scooter to get these back so there's no danger can possibly come from taking jerry cans full of diesel. Uh, on a scooter. So the diesel truck, uh, the rally, I've got some deal going where you get um, duty free fuel if you get it today, which is why we have to kind of like move around and get everything done um, today. But that's done and as I said, uh, fuel here is um, without duty free is $7 something a gallon, which is effing eye watering. Um, but that's the, uh, the islands for you. But anyway, I get to watch while they do this. There's one of the uh, famous art yellow shirts who is hopefully going to lend me a scooter. And then uh, check that off the list. If you come quietly, right? 
Some folks over here want to take your picture, see? <laughs> I like pictures! I'll come! Oh, oh, okay, we don't want to get it wet. I don't have my seatbelt, but sprinkles on it. Oh, you don't want to get wet, madam, for no, sure. I don't. All right, put it there now. Okay, hold on. All right, okay, gentlemen. Push down on that arm and wheel it out over the water. Push! <laughs> Excellent! Keep going! Just put this wedge underneath the back, would you please? Now, woman! Better pictures! This is your last chance to repent. Why? Do you repent? Michael, quick. Wait a minute! No, it was an unfair trial! Unfair trial? It was! It was! Both of that! It wasn't unfair. Excuse me, sir. What do you mean? You went into the trial room. Three men. Three men on the jury! How much more fair can you get than that? Well, now, Three. that you asked, I would like to be tried by women. You can't hear me. Madam! But, sir. Do I... you repent? So I was only reminding him! Don't come I was only you. reminding him! I. Hey! I'll have your nose a bit come wet down, down here! <laughs> Oh, Wait, you weren't sure that I got in? You had some tea? <laughs> That's the first time anyone's done that. Just hold a little bit first, guys. Fuck over again. Don't do it! Don't. Let it go! No, don't! No! What do you mean, let I'm it down go? down the rope! What do you mean? The man is from Dorset, England. They don't have ducking stools in Oh, Florida. yes, they do. That's where they came up with them. Let me assure you, madam. This is not originally from Bermuda. I'll tell you what, madam. the UK! Are you that gaff? Do you repent? Um, I can't hear you. I, 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 I wouldn't repent for the likes of you now, would I? And yes, sir, I do. That's what she said when she got married, too. <laughs> Are you I repent! I said I repent! What are you waiting for? Yeah, what are you waiting for? <laughs> you guys didn't get your weedies this morning? You say you repent really loud so we can all hear you. So do you repent? I repent. It wasn't very loud. I repent! Adam! What? Out of my sight! I don't like your sight. Get away from me, Al! <laughs> hey! What are you doing? I, I was saying sorry. I'm from the United States. I don't want to you, sir. Get out of here, woman! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, please, for Suzanne! And a big round of applause for my international group of talkers here today. Thank you, gentlemen. And last but true. not least, I need a round of applause for the town drunk. <laughs> Next week on Sailing Ruby Rose, all of our chores are done and so we finally get out to discover beautiful Bermuda. We go for an awesome walk, take in the sights and visit the old naval dockyard which is truly, truly spectacular. This week we're giving a big shout out to Laura and Ken and John who are rocking our Ruby Rose merchandise. Thanks for the pics guys. If you would also like a shout out at the end of one of our videos and just check out the description below, all details are there. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel then please do. We are also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat so make sure you follow us on those platforms. Again all links are down below and we'll see you next week.